Okay, today on Cruise Man's Garage, I'm going to install these new speed bleeders. Uh, they're basically replacement bleeder valves for your brakes and your clutch. And as you know, I've tried a couple of different methods of bleeding the brakes, and the goal being to make this a one-man job so that you don't have to have two people. And the first system I tried, which is in my brake video on the DVDs, uses the Motion Pro Mini Bleeder. Now, the Mini Bleeder is a really neat tool. It has a socket and a little wrench built in that fits over the bleed valve. So it's got kind of an all-in-one tool, and it also has a one-way check valve. So as you open that bleeder valve and pump the brakes, it only allows fluid to come out and not go back in, so you don't trap any air in the line as you're bleeding the brakes. makes it really cool to, uh, to do it as a one-man job. The problem is the little socket is so large that sometimes in a tight space it won't fit on the bleeder valve. So on the right brake caliper, you have to actually remove the caliper to get the little socket to fit on the top bleed valve. That's kind of a hassle. It's also difficult when you're bleeding the clutch. So it, you know, it's just not a perfect system. The second tool I tried is the hydraulic bleeder from Motion Pro again. Now this is a one-way check valve that has two hoses connected to it. And on this system, you basically just connect the, the little rubber hose to your bleeder valve and you pump your brakes. And it works similar to the mini bleeder in that it only allows the air and the fluid to go one direction. The problem I had with it is the hose they provide is a little bit too large. It slips off the bleeder valve, at least on the Goldwing. So if they provided a smaller diameter hose, it'd be a perfect system, a very nice system. The last system I'm going to test are these speed bleeders. And these basically also have a one-way check valve built in, and they just replace your existing bleeder valves. So the main thing to remember when you do this, you require eight of these for the Goldwing. You have six on your brake calipers, left front, right front, and rear. You have a clutch bleeder valve, and then you also have an anti-dive valve. So you'll require eight of these. They come two to a pack. I think the whole system to replace all of them costs about 50 bucks. When you replace these, you're going to need an 8 millimeter wrench. You're also going to want to have some rags. You want to hold some rags underneath that caliper as you remove that old bleed valve, brake fluid is going to come out. It's going to start leaking. You want to make sure you, you don't let it on your painted surfaces or on your clear coated wheels because it can really damage that. Once you've removed the old bleed valve, you can immediately insert the new speed bleeder into the same opening and using the 8 millimeter wrench, go ahead and tighten it down as far as it will go. Go ahead and make sure it's completely seated so that the one-way check valve is closed. And then of course replace the little rubber cap on top of the bleed valve. Now you'll want to repeat this installation process for the remaining bleeder valves. There's two on the right front brake caliper shown here. You'll find two on the left front brake caliper, one on the side, one on top. And then you also have an anti-dive valve mechanism. There's a bleed valve located on top of that. You also have two bleeder valves on the rear brake caliper shown here. Now the rear brake caliper is right behind the right side muffler. And then you have one bleed valve located uh, for the clutch, and that's on the front of the engine underneath the evaporative canister. Now, you'll want to refer to the video on bleeding the clutch, and it'll show you how to access that. I especially like the speed bleeder bag that you can get from speed bleeders. It has a really good hose that attaches very snug to the bleed valves. And, uh, you know, you basically crack the bleed valve open a quarter of an inch, and then you follow the normal procedure for bleeding your brakes. Now, you'll want to watch my video on how to bleed your brakes and your clutch for all the detailed information, because it's very important. If you want to see detailed information on how I maintain my Goldwing, check out my DVDs. They're available from these excellent online retailers. And I also have my videos available on demand, so you can watch them on your iPad, iPhone, or other mobile device.